what up everyone welcome back to another gta video now i know i have not posted in a minute here i know i've been absent from my channel for a little bit it's been hard to find what to post post due to the fact most glitches they are getting harder and harder to do now because of the fact that it's not really good to post too many glitches right now because Rockstar is very quickly patching these glitches is so please understand that once we get through this month in October I think we're going to be safe all of November where I can post a lot more glitches um it's more like I have to film these videos those um after Thursday so it's like I have to film the video on Thursday night Night or Friday morning and post on Fridays, Saturdays, and Sundays because Tuesdays and Thursdays is Rockstar's patch days. So I don't really want to post nothing on Friday, uh, Mondays. So then, you know, then the very next day it gets patched. Actually, so people, you know, that don't have time to go in and do the glitch on Monday when they see the video posted. But this is a brand new, very easy car to car merge you can do up to four people merging now i will be showing you that another person can merge with you but this is very easy all the cars that you want to mer mod blow them up so this is my personal vehicle right here that will be putting the mods onto so all you want to do is blow this thing up There we go. So my car is now blown up. Now this next step is very optional, but you do not have to do it if you don't want to. You know, but it is very optional. It does help out. Out, and I will tell you where these do come into play a little bit later on. But you just want to go ahead and just go ahead and turn your jobs to show on your map and how you do that on new gen and old because this merge glitch does work on old gen and new gen and it works on playstation and xbox you just want to go to your interactions menu and go down to map blimp options and once you're in map blimp options you just want to set all your jobs to show all your jobs to show and from there you want to make your way inside the LS car meet with the car that you want to pull the mods from so I'm gonna go inside and you can either call your mechanic inside or outside now I'm gonna go inside to show you that you can call your mechanic from the inside to request your car but now so you can do it on the outside as well but all the cars you want to do, you just want to blow them up. Now you can only mod one car at a time, unfortunately. But you can have more than one person modding at a time. So I'm just going to call my mechanic. And while I'm doing this, I want to go ahead and tell you all, please go ahead and smash that like button, subscribe to my channel, and turn on post notifications. And if you need help with this glitch or need help, find some people that will help you mod cars with please go ahead and join my GTA discord server link will be in the description we will always be there to help when we can if possible so I'm just going to call out the car that I want to pull the mods from and from here here all we want to do is either my friend or whoever is in Dallas car meet hey, they can start up a sprint or I can now I'm gonna start the sprint to show you that I can still mod with me starting it but he also is trying to invite me but I'm also gonna, gonna accept this invite but I can show you that I can also mod too but I will also show you that we can do another vehicle at the same time so I'm just gonna accept his invite just do a sprint here. 
So I'm just going to take his invite here to the sprint. And all we can do is just wait for the countdown and we'll spawn outside. Once we spawn outside, I will tell you the remaining of the glitch. But now it doesn't matter who starts up the sprint, you can do this up to four people. Well, well it does not matter where, who starts it up. Now everyone does sit there and say, oh, you need someone to bounce off of inside a different targeting mode. You do not need anyone to bounce off of inside a different targeting mode. So you can easily, all you have to do once you spawn outside inside the sprint, you can open up your interactions menu and take the easy way out. Or if you're on Xbox, you can hold Y to respawn. If you're on PlayStation, you can hold Triangle to respawn on. Once you do so, you just want to call it Morse Mutual. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to hold Y. And I'm going to respawn. But you can also use the interactions menu to take the easy way out. And then from there, you want to drive to where some water is at. And you want to call Morse Mutual. And be hovering over the car that you want to put the mods onto. And drive the car, your donor car, into the water. And when your screen goes black and white, you do want to press be smashing A on that car that you want to put the mods onto. So I'm going to call Morse Mutual. Just going to call it Morse. And I'm hovering over the car name. And now I just want to drive my car in the water. And when my screen goes black and white, I want to go ahead and start spamming A on the Xbox, X on PlayStation. So I just want to go spam A. And there we go. We spawn back in. And the car is now modded. Now the car that you just drove into the water does not go into Morph Mutual. It does return back to storage. It, so you don't have to worry about calling Morse Mutual and getting it back from Morse Mutual. So I just want to point that out to you. You you can just call you, your mechanic and request it back out. So once I do save this car, I will show you that it's not in Morse Mutual. So I'm just going to wait for my friend to be done. So I can show you that he was able to mod at the same time I was. Us. So my friend didn't leave the sprint. Now how you can leave the sprint, I do want to point this out, is that you can and have your friend leave the game or you can have have your friend start the job and back out or you can start the job and back out. That is where the jobs come into play since he did that uh, and we were the only two inside the sprint. No one else had to you know, do it because there's only two people modding now if we have three people in the sprint and if one person start a job then back out the the remaining people will still be in the sprint and until there's only two people left and if that means every person will have to do it for herself if there's more than two now if there's just two if one person start a, the job and back out it will end the sprint for both people so we're just going to find my friend to show you that he was able to mod at the same time I was. So I'm just going to see where he's at on the map here. And I'm going to meet up with him. He's inside the LS car meet. But I'm going to go change one thing on my car real quick at the LS customs. Right down the street from the LS car meet. And then I'm going to head right back in there to show you that he was able to mod. And I was able to mod too. But this is a very simple, easy glitch, guys. It is very easy. Now, if y'all want to mod facility vehicles, it is a little bit different. And the person that will, that is helping you mod, will need the own story mode. Now, if y'all would like for me to do a video on that, please drop a comment below. And I will be more than glad to post a video on that in the future or, or if you do need assistance with that through the discord server I will be more than glad 
to help you or one of my team members will be able to help you out inside the Discord server. So I'm just going to make my way in here and I'm going to change one thing on it to save it. Now, you can change even the smallest thing where the armor or the license plate to save it. You don't have to change anything major. So just keep that in mind. You don't have to change anything major so you can customize this thing the way you want to. So I can just change the armor, change it back, and then it's saved. Hey, so I'm just going to change the plate also. But you can make this the way you want to do later on. So I'm just going to put my YT GTA on it. And I'm going to back out. And I'm going to make my way to the LS car meet to meet up with my friend to show you that it is modded. His car is modded and my car is modded. So I'm going to go to my takeover. I started before my I'm going to go to my takeover before I started before recording this and I'm going to invite him to it to show you that our cars are modded. Now the jobs like I said that is optional it's all however you want to do it. You can finish the sprint or you can start the job and back out or you can or you can just have the person leave at start or sprint and then once they leave they can join back. But now if they are modding then their car will not be saved if they leave the session. So I'm about my friend. He's going to spawn his car inside to show you that he was able to mod too. Once he gets in, and there we go. His car is modded, and so is mine. And there we go. Very simple, very easy. Hope y'all found this glitch very easy and very, very easy to do. And I hope y'all have a great day and or night. And I will catch y'all inside the next video. And peace out.